most of the islanders uh, you know know about Western Union. That's that's where most of our money go. I'm in Samoa Tuilangi, um, from Samoa in the island of uh, Savai, and uh, a small village of uh, Fatosi. I'm Samoan, um, Samoan through and through, um, playing for England. Um, it's a huge honour. You know, I was fortunate enough to, to come here as a young lad, and um, you know, when when the opportunity came from from England, you know, I was you know so happy, and you know, it's an opportunity that. You know, it, it only come once. I, I do my best as uh, as I would do uh, for some was. Rugby is, um, you know, it's very important for obviously for, for me and um, you know my family. You know, all play rugby and um, you know we we love the sport. Um, you know, it's uh, it's allowed us to to travel the world and um, you know made some. Made, made a life for, for ourselves. Um, you know, it allows us to provide for our family. Um, you know, back home, uh, he sent he, he sent money home to to, to your mum and dad um, for, for whatever they need. And you know, the boys that play over here, um, you know, they're all here for for their family. All here for you know, for a better future for for themselves and and also to support the, the villages and you know obviously most of the islanders uh, you know know about Western Union. That's that's where most of our money go. My brothers um, playing for Samoa and you know and hearing about you know there's all the you know, all the problems um, that I, I I don't have to, to go through uh, playing for England so I think I'm very fortunate in, in, in that area where you know everything's taken care of, um, from you know kit to um, to your pay and, and everything like that. And a good mate of mine, uh, Long of Eton Bully, you know, goes back and you know they have got paid their own flights to you know to get back and you know and obviously the clubs over here, you know, when the, when those boys go back, you know they cut their pay and they don't even uh, get paid that, that much. You know, seeing the boys that come from where you, where you come from and they're, they're doing the same things you, you know, putting their bodies on the line, you, you kind of feel for them. Um, and that's what, where the idea was. Uh, came from from the you know, field of boys in, in camp at that time. Mm -hmm. Give give some of those boys uh, some some of your match fee. It's tough, especially um, when the boys going to play in England. It's massive, um, and obviously the people want to come watch those games because it's exciting. That um, uh, so I think. Whoever's in charge, they, they need to um, they need to be better, at, you know, um, sorting out those uh, those stuff, uh, especially financial. You can't really develop um, players if um, there's no there's no money. Um, like especially back in the island, um, it's, well, it's not, not it's not many homegrown players, you know, players from uh, from Samoa uh, coming through. You know, it's most of the the, the Samoan team are the boys that either you know playing in New Zealand or Australia or, or here in England. It's impossible to go to to carry on this way. Um, if they're gonna, you know, try and get better, then it's it's impossible if there's no um, there's no money. You know, when you get given opportunity to play for your own country, um, you know, it, it, it's an honour. Um, but then again, you gotta look at the the bigger picture for you and your your family. 
you know, whether it be um, the right decision um, financially. And I saw the boys at the World Cup, you know, fair play, um, left their clubs. You know, their clubs said, if you go, you can't, you know, you go to San Jose, your contract's finished. And I see some of the boys, you know, done that, you know, that's um, you know, fair play. But it's um, it's a tough question. It's a tough situation to to be in. I think it's something that that needs to you know look at and you know needs to, needs to change. You're playing over here, there's a lot of pressure um, from you know family back home, or like the pressure on your, you put pressure on yourself um, to provide um, for your family and. You know, if you can't do that, you're you failed, and so I think that it's, it's important that um, everyone knows the, the mental part of it is it's the hard, it's the hard part. You know, playing rugby is, well, say it's easy, but um, it's a lot easier than um, trying and and, uh, and be sane and control your your mind, and I think. You hear, you, you get your pay, you, you know, you send it back, and um, you know, it doesn't always, you know, when you get injured, um, you know, you don't, we don't get a contract, that's when, that's when things go wrong. Yeah, I think our culture, you know, we, we don't, we don't, you know, talk, um, you know, you don't, you know, you, you brought up to be uh, you're tough you know you don't you don't speak about your feelings you um, you know you, if it's a hard day you know just just deal with it um, and you don't and you end up just keeping it all to yourself and, and you know we don't question anyone um, you know, we come from the islands you, you know if you're younger you go listen to <laughs> Listen to your, your older brother. Um, whether he's right or wrong, um, that's the culture. Um, you grow up and um, you just got to be tough and, and deal with it, but it's not always a, the, the best way. Talk to each other and um, try and understand from um, the, everyone's point of view.